thank you for introduction. Uh, I'd like to thank the organizers to invite me here and also give me an opportunity to talk here. Uh, today I want to talk about the climate resolution of Calabria singularities. So maybe uh, many people are wondering why there is a singularity in Calabria. So it is a, a kind of Calabria uh, singularity. So I used a climate resolution and they, we got a smooth variety and it is Calabria. So it is a mind map but uh, it's uh, just uh, my plan of my talk so I don't use this here. So I don't know how many people know the market correspondence here, but maybe most of people know. It. But I want to introduce something. And, uh, the market correspondence is between group and uh, the question singularities. And uh, this is type A1, A1 singularities. And uh, we use a minimal resolution. And uh, this is a singular point. And after resolution, we have smooth variety. And here we have a P1 in this case. And in general, we have a more, more many, many things. And if you consider the resolution of singularity, you have, if we did a one point singularity, but you can get some, something here. And in general, so this case A1, so we have only one P1, but in general, we have many, many rational curves and so on. So the Mackay correspondence was originally in dimension two. And in case A and singularity, it was given by the quotient by group G is a cyclic group of order n plus 1. And the defining equation is this one. And you can blow up by this, using this defining equation, but also you can use several ways to get the minimal resolution. And finally, n type you can get uh, n rational curves. It, uh, and if you, you draw, draw a real graph, then you can get an n-type thinking diagram. So it is a kind of Mackay correspondence, but more deeply, uh, we can say more deeply in algebraic structure. So this is a Mackay observation, and Mackay is a representation theory. So he considers the group G is the finest group of SL to C, and we take uh, all irreducible representation up to isomorphism. And they take a Rosier is trivial representation, and also take a low natural is a natural representation in SL two C. So it is a two dimensional representation. Then we can consider the tensor product rho i, the relative representation, and the low natural. Then you can get the uh, set of uh, irreducible representation with quotient a i j, and uh, in if j is in SL two C. Aij equal to Aji, then we can get some number, set of numbers, and if you consider to E minus Aij, it has capital matrix. And but with it is n, um, if you have a number, the number of the irreducible representation is n plus one, then it's a n times n identity matrix, and also this is a n times n, n times n matrix. And it is a cartoon matrix which gives a thinking diagram. And also, we can say it's something like So, if Aij is not zero, there is a edge between vertex i and j. And Aij is zero, then there is no relation between a and j. So, then there are several portion, uh, groups, final groups in SL2C. And there are the five types. An is that correspond to a cyclic group and DN corresponds to binary dihedral, and also their binary polyhedral groups. And this is, uh, by this construction, you can get a uh, um, thinking diagram, and it corresponds to the simple real algebra. So the Mackay's observation is uh, between, uh, correspondence between finite group and the simple real algebra. So, but uh, as we see before, we have a portion singularity by A and ADE, then you can get the resolution of singularity. Then, in general, the, the all quotient singularity in this case is isolated and also hypersurface. And this isolated point is singular, and after minimal resolution, we can get a set of rational curves. And if you draw a dual graph of this set of graphs, uh, curves, then you can get a thinking diagram. 
and which correspond to the each similar linking diagram like this. So if you consider a cyclic group, you can get a linking diagram and so on and so on. Then there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between exceptional curves, so irreducible exceptional curves, each curves and also uh, non-trivial irreducible representations. It is a kind of numerical correspondence, but we can also consider the more geometrically uh, by, so that this is called Makai correspondence by Gonzalez, Spinberg, and Verde, and they consider the more ge geometric correspondence between exceptional curves and uh, irreducible representations. And more data, so the Bunram generalized this result for group G in GL2C finite small. And uh, it, it has also uh, minimal resolution. And there is a correspondence between exceptional curves and some special representations. So it is a set, uh, not all non trivial irreducible representations. So in this case, we have only non trivial irreducible special representations which correspond to the exceptional curves. So if you consider this speciality in SL case, then all representation is special. So this is a one generalized Mackay correspondence. So this is a one generalization, but uh, it is in two, two, two dimension. So next, I want to consider the three dimension Mackay correspondence. So it is I did, I worked a long time, and uh, at the beginning, to, to construct before construction of three dimensional Mackay correspondence, there is some result from uh, superstring theory. It's around 1985. And they defined all behold Euler characteristic. And the defining equation is the following. So M is some space, and J is the finite group acton M. Then chi M J is the all behold Euler characteristic, which was defined in superstring theory. And it is uh, just over the one over the number of the, the, the order of the group. And also, this takes summation between the uh, all commutative pairs, so HGH is the uh, element of G. And this chi HG is uh, uh, the fixed point of by H and uh, intersection of fixed point and G, and also take a uh, Euler number of this space. Then you can get some numbers. And uh, if you consider in case M is C3 and G is S, a finite group of SF3C, then this number is the same as the number of quantity plus of G. So it's a part very uh, easy to com compute. Then they, they compute these numbers in super string theory and they consider that uh, uh, some quotient space and it is a uh, uh, carabial M over G is a carabial, but it's singular. So then, what is this number in mathematics? So I will consider that this number. Then, and there's a theorem by Mahashevich and one myself. And we construct, we find the prepand resolution. And uh, we can construct the prepand resolution of this quotient singularities. And uh, I, I told you what is prepand resolution later also. And uh, then, then the, the topological Euler number of prepand resolution is just the same as the conjecture class, number of conjecture class of G. Means this old Euler characteristic is the same as the topological Euler number of prepand resolution of Gaussian space. Then it is a mass, uh, mass physics. In, in, so, so from physics to mathematics, and in mathematics, after that, there is a it is a one just a number, Euler number. So, we consider more precise uh, correspondence between resolution and group G. Then, it, there are several papers on Ito Rilo and Ito Nakashimo and Richard King Reed and so on. And it, it is a three-dimensional Mackay correspondence, and also there is a higher dimensional uh, correspondence, and also derived Mackay correspondence, and so on, so on. So it was developed in mathematics in several ways. And then, then it is in physics, 
in recently, so we, they use a prepared resolution of non abelian quotient. So in here we have several groups, and G can be a non abelian, but the abelian case is easy because we can use a toy geometry. But recently they use our, this result to consider some 5D dimension something and so on. And uh, for example, TN1 use this uh, construction of pre resolution considered of uh, some something, and it might be related with full of branch and something. So, so I don't know where, but uh, it is. Uh, so it was uh, happened from um, the physics, but uh, through math, and we now also physics in here. Then uh, it is a rough sketch of three dimensional preparatory resolution. But in mathematics, the preparatory resolution is a very special. It's a little bit different from two dimensional minimal resolution. So it is a kind of minimal resolution. But if we consider the final group of uh, SFCC, then there exists a preparatory resolution. So it is known now. And uh, it's a chemical bundle of X0 is trivial. So then we call consider it is a kind of calabial. And the singularity of X, so this quotient, is in general, so there are some, but in general they are not no isolated and no hypersurface. So at the beginning to construct the preparatory resolution, it is very difficult to find a way because if there's no it is not hypersurface, there's no defined equation, then it's very difficult to draw up by coordinate. But uh, uh, later we constructed everything, and uh, if you find one prepant resolution, there are several prepant resolutions in general. So then it, the prepant resolution is not unique. So in dimension two, if you have a minimal resolution, it is uh, unique up to isomorphism. But in dimension three, we have a several prepant resolution for one quotient singularities. And between them, there is a flop, and in dimension three, so if x tilde, x1 tilde is smooth, then everything is smooth. So uh, it's easy to compute the Euler number for one, then everything is the same. So, but if you consider the same things in dimension four, so this is completely different. So they have uh, many uh, prefrontal resolutions, and also there are several minimal models and so on, but they are not uh, topologically the same. So they are not connected by flops. So, so I want to sh compute some examples very concretely. So, so the, I want to consider the all six quotient singularities. So this we write down one over six, one to three is uh, generated by this a diagonal matrix and the uh, is uh, the one a uh, sixth root of one. Then in toric geometry, so if it is a cyclic or abelian group, you can use toric geometry. And in general you can consider the uh, lattice of D3. And uh, also we have our action of the group, then we also add this part. Then they, we have some rational point inside one this cube, and we have some, the, the positive part is correspond to the quotient space, so I just I call x, x is a quotient c3 over g. Then uh, we have several points which correspond to the each element of g, and we also have several points inside of this cube, and we use only this part to consider, to get prepant resolution. Because this part has x plus y plus d equal one, has um, and, um, this frequency zero, means corresponds to the prepant divisors. Then we just consider, so in general, we have to consider the subdivision of this space, but uh, uh, we just consider, it is easy to consider, to consider this triangle inside. So here we have some, some points here. So this it's for, so this one is the one this uh, point one one there there and there one there one there there one. 
And this point corresponds to the 1 over 6, 1, 2, 3. And also there are some several points, so 1 over 6, 3, 0, 3, and 2, 4, 0, and 4, 2, 0. And uh, there is another point which corresponds to the uh, element of G, but it is in uh, another space. It is on the uh, space X plus Y plus D equal 2. And this point we cannot use to get frequent resolution, so we just... Uh, uh, and also this point is uh, generated by this point. Then we just consider this point and subdivide, subdivide this triangle inside. Then there are several ways. So this is one example of the triangulations. And uh, you can change the triangulation and if it corresponds to the flow. But in, in any case, the number of small triangles inside is always six. And this number is an Euler number, horizontal Euler number of quotient singularities. Then the number of six is the same as the number of conjugate class of G in this case. Then we can show check the Euler number of the paper resolution is same as the number of conjugate class here. So we have several points here, and this point is isolated corresponds to the isolated part, but this correspond part is non-isolated part. So in this case, we have only one exceptional divisor, and we have also the um, non-compact and some divide, not divisors, but surface outside here and here. So this is the one case, but we have several things inside. So we, it is a singularity, and it's not isolated, but there are one point here also. And we have, uh, how do I say? So this part, the, the, each triangle corresponds to each, um, how do I say, alpha and piece, and this one line corresponds to each uh, exception curves. And this point corresponds to the exception divisors in this picture. So there are several information I wrote down. It's uh, just a coordinate which corresponds to the original uh, coordinate. So, so. so this is one example, but what we can see. So in general, in dimension three, we use uh, the different construction of Crepant resolution now. And also, in general, we can define the G-Hilbert scheme. It's very convenient, convenient to, to consider a corresponding representation and so on. So the G, the, it is very rough definition, but it's a set of ideas. And this each con, uh, has a condition on this. So but the quotient is correspond to the uh, grouping. And uh, the, this means so that in, in some sense, the complement of ideas corresponds to, has the same, um, same all element of representations. So I will show the example later. So it is a kind of multi space of G clusters. So G clusters correspond to, contains all representation inside. And I will show some uh, example later. But this is a more lovely definition, but there is some known result. So in dimension 2, the G help C2 is a minimal resolution of the quotient of Shitsu Wajiri. And it was done by myself and Nakamura and also Kido Ishii. And Ishii some showed uh, for every group G in GL2C. And uh, it's a very simple result, but very clear. And in dimension 3, so but if G is in SL3C, then the G Hebrew scheme is a question, uh, resolution of uh, C3 over G. And it was done by Nakamura for Abelian case and general case by Richard King and Reed. And uh, this is a one Crepant resolution. So as I told you, there are several Crepant resolutions for one question. But it is only one unique Crepant resolution. But uh, there, uh, in that case, so there, there's uh, another projective Crepant resolution. So this is Crepant resolution, but it's projective. 
and there is another project product resolutions. And all of them are modular space of G constellation. So I just liked it. So zero zero need quiver and also there are some some different quivers correspond to the this modular space. But it was uh, so it was done by uh, Kuro Ishi for Avila case and recently Yamagi shows for FNG in SL3C. So it's a beautiful without and uh, any projective prepon resolution is a kind of modular space. So you can consider the some props between them and so on with, by this construction and so on. But it, we have just one unique prepon resolution. But this G help, the description G help is very, very in, interesting and also useful. So from now on, I want to sh give you some information about representations. So as I told you, so G help scheme gives you some information of representations. So in AN case, it's very simple case, and uh, we, we just consider the order. Uh, order, order, and uh, sorry, it's a two case, so n equal two case, sorry, it is not three. And uh, the considered ideas G help is me, so we just consider this is a uh, ideas in G help scheme, but you can consider the uh, complement of ideas means, so this one is generated by x and x cube. And this is uh, generated by x and y cube. Then remaining part is one y y square, and which correspond to the representation. So I just write the number, but it's row zero, row two, row one, and so on, so on. Then this contains all representation zero one two, and also next one it contains two zero one. It contains all representation and so on. Then it is correspond to the ideas in G help scheme. And uh, this shows the affine piece and this is generated by X and X cube and so on so on. So, on. so there are the three affine pieces in case in this case. And we have two exceptional curves. And these curves correspond to row one and row two because X and X square and also X cube and, and X square and Y is a uh, uh, no one or epsilon or epsilon squares invariant in co-invariant in the action of G. Then we have one two exceptional curve in this case. So sorry, it is a two case, and uh, each exceptional curve corresponds to each representation, and uh, we can get similarly for a n case, and uh, we can compute every corresponding representations. But in SL two case. We will get all representations here and which correspond to each exception curves. So we want to consider the special case. Special case is a two-dimensional case. So let's take consider the one fifth one two. So it is a cyclic group of order five, but the action is different from SA2. So this is in GL. Then but we can consider the similar diagram and it is the uh, method of G here spin and we can consider the same young diagrams which correspond to the uh, complement of ideas. So then here we so we, we can compute every uh, action of G. So this is the one two means one two and we have several representations which correspond to the monomials. Then we have for example this one is generated by X and X fifth and this have uh, x uh, one y y squared to y fourth, and it contains all representation to zero one two three four. And similarly, we should find every possibility of the Young diagram which contains all representation inside. Then in this case, so the order of group is five, but we have only three Young diagrams which correspond to the. G cluster, so we call it G cluster or G graph. Then we can say, we can compute that corresponding uh, uh, the generator of ideas and also that you can draw a picture of the resolution. 
So in this case, we have only two exceptional curves. And these curves correspond to the this coordinate, and the, this coordinate is uh, correspond to the row 1 and row 2. So we have no row 3, row 4 in this case. Then we can say so row 1, row 2 is a special representation. And row 3 and row 4 doesn't appear here. So this is a special case and a special representation in dimension 2. And we can compute everything for cyclic case by this way. And more generally, uh, we can say, so this is my result, but I didn't write here, but uh, if you have so, so in any case we have this kind of young diagram, young diagram, and if you consider a n case we have only this and this and this, so we have only l type young diagrams. But here we have different type of young diagrams. So here like this, then we can say that there are different from. L case, but uh, you can say if you consider this corresponding representation, so here we have L type, but uh, in fundamental domain, fundamental domain is uh, divided uh, up to zero and so on. Then we have three and four here, so this is L part, but uh, non L part we have three and four, and this three and four cannot be a special representation. Then we if you draw this picture, you can say which one is special in general, in dimension 2. So this is two-dimensional case. And uh, we can also consider the similar Young diagram, a kind of Young diagram in dimension 3. So this is a picture of dimension 3. And uh, we, so I just write on the representation, corresponding representation and uh, coordinates. So we have, in this case, we have six affine pieces, and each affine piece corresponds to each G cluster or G graph. And they give a um, coordinate for each. Then you can um, patch everything, then you can get whole representations. And uh, this is not easy to compute for general, but uh, uh, you can compute you can find, I didn't write here, but you can consider the fundamental domain, it's up to zero and so on. But everything is uh, start from zero. Zero is, uh, uh, zero is origin, again. it corresponds to the one, the monomial one. And uh, everything corresponds to the H monomials, and I just write down the generator of ideas here. And, uh, if we have only six, this graph. And in general, uh, if you have an order n uh, as cyclic, cyclic or abelian group or so on, so this is the number of G graph is same as the number of affine piece, and it is also same as the number of Euler uh, number. And, uh, yes. and uh, it is as so in general, you can compute, in general, theoretically you can compute all G clusters, G graphs, and the number of G clusters is the same as the number of conjugate class in general. And the abelian case, this is the same as the number, the order of group. So in this case, we have six, uh, young, not young diagram, it's three-dimensional young diagram. So x, y, zero is zero, so. It, 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 you can project everything, so it's a kind of a cube, cube, and a three-dimensional uh, young diagram. Then we can consider similar things, and also it's very difficult to consider uh, non abelian case. But from now, I want to show something. In, even in a abelian case, if there are some, some interesting things. So. There is a lead of the recipe, it is only for abelian case. So, abel, uh, non abelian case, there is no lead of the recipe at this moment. So, we consider these triangles. And by lead of the recipe, we have a several representations which correspond to the exception curve and exception divisors. 
and we have only one exception divisor, and we have some curves between them, and here we have it, this corresponds to the row one, and this corresponds to row four, and so on, and we have one, three, two, three, four, five. And we have all non-trivial representation here. So in any case, in the G is in uh, abelian in SL3C, you can compute this triangle and triangulation, and you can compute which curves correspond to which representation and which um, divisor correspond to which representations. But we, have, we should say that row 5 is generated by two curves, so this this is correspond to row, representation row 2, row 2, and this part is row 3, row 3, and row 5 comes from row 2 and row 3. So the way of the construction of the Lito's recipe, uh, he, he considers the corresponding representation which correspond to the all existing curves, and finally he decided the corresponding representation which correspond to the existing divisors. So, so this is a, his construction. And this is one-to-one -one correspondence, it, a kind of one-to-one -one correspondence between, uh, not row zero, sorry, row i. So it is a reducible representation and some existing divide curves and the divisors and so on. So, but it's a very, how to say, it's a very, case by case computation. So I want to show some other cases. So I want to introduce ex uh, essential representations. And it's a kind of generalization of uh, special representation, but it's different from special representation. So I don't write the special represent definition of essential representation here, but it was defined by Klo and uh, Karmazin and as myself. And uh, this essential representation gives a uh, modular space. And this is a part of irreducible representation, but it is enough representation which gives a uh, frequent resolution. So we showed this one in this paper, but uh, today I want to show you why essential representation is uh, uh, very interesting. So, this is a resolution of the similarity of 1, 6, 1, 2, 3, and uh, there are several. Can you see it? <laughs> Sorry, it's not so clear. And uh, this is 5, and uh, there are the two curves here and here which pass through a uh, divisor. So, maybe this one is better. So, here we have a uh, two and three, and uh, it make a five in Lido's recipe. So five contain two and three in some sense. Then if you consider, if you compute an essential representation in this case, then the way of the computation is foreign. So each diagram, that there is a uh, it contains a mac equivalent inside. For example, from 0 to 2 and 2 to 4 is a multiplication y and y, y. And this way, you have a multiplication z and also uh, xd and yz and so on. So you can draw a arrow between these boxes. This is corresponds to the part of mac equivalent. And then this part has no arrow from this corner. Then this is this corresponds to essential representations. Then we can compute everything. Then here we have only five, so we have an arrow from one zero to five. And this one is also has only five. And this one is five. And this one has five and four. And this one has only one, and this one is one four five. So for all G um, graphs, we can get just only three representations, which correspond to essential representations. And it appears this curve is correspond to the 
one, and this card corresponds to the four, and this part five is correspond to the exception divisors. So uh, there is no precise description in this case, but uh, we con consider uh, in case in G is uh, abelian in SLCC, then we have we found that essential representation is correspond to the exception divisor or pro probable curve. So this curve also this curve also probable, but uh, this made a, a divisor. So maybe we should say more precisely. So it corresponds to the exception divisor and some curves which are probable, but it does not contain in the uh, divisors. So this is the one result by myself and Sato and Sato. And this is the new result. And, uh, but it is, this result is for any group G in SLCC. But this is only for Arian case. But we think it is true for any cases. Then we want to consider the following things. So non abelian case. So in yeah. So as I told you, so we have a Mackay quiver, and it was defined by the one tensor law natural. So I in dimension two, law A I J and law A J I is same, but in general A I J and A J I is different. And in dimension two, A I J is zero or one, but in this case we have several numbers here. And then you can draw an arrow between I and J. The number of arrow is A I J. Then you can compute a Nakai quiver for any cases. And this computation is uh, can possible for any case. So if so to construct a prepont resolution to see a picture like this is easy to use toric geometry. But you can use toric geometry when G is abelian group. But uh, no, Mackay quiver can be computed by for non abelian cases. So some physicists compute Mackay quiver for non abelian cases, and uh, maybe we can compute the corresponding G graph and so on in non abelian case. Then we can construct a non abelian Lidos recipe, I think, and. Uh, uh, but I want to see the geometric structure of G Hebrew scheme. M means so we, if you compute the Mackay quiver for non abelian cases, you can get some information about quivers, and you can find uh, essential representations of which correspond to the divisors or some probable curve and so on. So this is my dream in some sense, and uh, I hope we someone compute uh, Mackay quiver for non abelian groups, so I want to know the result and also compute some Mackay and Z graph and so on for non abelian cases and so on. So, and uh, also, uh, there's uh, my talk which I want to say, but more I want to say, so it's not all eight, so higher dimensional cases. So, in higher dimensional case, so we have several results, and the more um, easier, simple result is by Depardieu. So he considers the quotient Cn over G, is is the final group of SSMC. So if there exists a Crepant resolution, then the topological order number is the same as the conjecture class of G. But it is, uh, it ash we should assume the existence of Crepant resolutions. So now we have uh, two examples. Uh, two problems. So we have to check the existence of Grepant resolutions. So even in dimension four, there are some cases if G is in SL 4C, but there is no Grepant resolution. And also we I introduced G Hilbert scheme, but it is not Grepant resolution in general, in higher dimension case. So it's not so easy to find Grepant resolution in general in higher dimension case. And also yeah, there is some problem for if it, even in a SLMC, so there is a uh, problem if uh, 
you consider the positive characteristic, so the Bartif theorem does not hold in general. So there are several things. And also, if you consider G in G, N, and C, the overhaul the Euler number is just a conjugacy class. So it's similar to SL and C. But it's not that diff same as a topological Euler number or minimal resolution and so on so on. So, so but but if you find a stringy overhaul Euler number and so on so on. So some stringy topological invariant. And it's a kind of a generalization in mathematics and it's called from uh, come from physics. So so that's all my I want to talk. So maybe it's short, but uh, <laughs> I, I I want to show you some some examples, but uh, it takes time. But uh, yeah, if you have any question, I can answer. So thank you very much. In high dimension case, there are several cases, so that J help is prevalent, but uh, also singular, also smooth, but not prevalent. I tried it, <laughs> but uh, I cannot show so.